Hey guys, welcome to TG Fishing. Um, if you're watching this video, please subscribe, hit that like button. This is a video of us fishing Lake Alvarado here in Texas. And right here it's about 9.30. It's about 9, 9.30. And Mark already caught one bass and two catfish on a crankbait. So decided I wasn't catching anything. So I decided to go ahead and start throwing this jig. I'm not a big jig fisherman, but I decided to throw this jig. So it's a black and blue jig. It's uh, I want to say three eighths ounce, maybe half ounce jig with the trailer on it. So I throw them in, underneath this tree, and I catch one here, which decent sized fish. It's a maybe a pound fish, but <clears throat> so I'm working on this little area here. So I'm like, okay, I catch one. Let's see what we can do here. Go ahead, and I keep tossing. I threw it up over. By the boat dock in between the tree there and didn't catch nothing so i decided to throw it keep throwing it underneath this tree this overhang here and luckily it pays off and for some reason when i started fishing with the jig at first i was kind of bouncing it up and down you know doing real high jigs on it and i couldn't get nothing to react so i started dragging the jig just slowly dragging it across the bottom and they were just picking it right up so here, caught this other little fish here, smaller than the first one, but, you know, a fish is a fish, so it's nice to catch a fish. So I'll go ahead and release this one. We'll take a picture, release it, go ahead and work myself up a little bit and throw it by the stock again. So I started dragging it, and here I didn't get a good hook set because the wind kind of pushed me around the side of this stock here from where I was reeling. And I could not get it to to hook good, so I lost this fish here, which is probably just another one pound fish, but might have been some males just hanging out over here around where some beds used to be, or maybe some beds are still there, but maybe the big girls went back down. <coughs> so I'll kind of get up here, reposition myself to when I attack this tree, just you know, a few more times before I, I move up down around this dock here. So I'll kind of reposition myself. Say, let me go ahead and cast it in here and see what happens. And just slowly dragging that jig across the bottom here. Here it is. Here I'm just kind of. Just tossed it right back in that tree, same spot as the other times, and just dragging it right across the bottom. I mean, this lake is really nice lake. It's just the only problem is the boat ramp is shut down because it looks like they're actually trying to make a better boat ramp, but it didn't look like any, but it's been worked on in a while. So there's a little trouble getting our kayaks down to the water, but then a couple guys or some wheels can, can help with. So I'll catch this fish here. It's just another one pounder, and you know, at this point, Mark hasn't caught anything yet. So he's just still hanging on to his one bass and two catfish. So I go ahead, take a picture with this fish, and go ahead and decide. Let's go ahead and move away from this spot. So I will come over here, cast into this pile. Of grass and reed and stuff here and just start slowly dragging that jig and you know and get another bite and this one's a little bit better fish here it's uh I think this one ended up weighing like 282 when I weighed it so just under three pounds I mean this one here he he hit that jig really hard the last three fish they were just kind of picking the jig up and swimming with it and this one here just picked it up and Choked it down. Hey, just like that, baby. Woohoo! Yeah, this is a real pretty fish here. 282, just under three pounds, and I'm kind of, you know, yelling at Mark, like, oh, there you go, I took the lead. So, he's down with just one fish in the boat, and I still have, I got three now, so. Kind of giving him crap about it. So, we're moving along. You know, about an hour passed, didn't catch nothing, moving our way back to the back of the lake here. And decided to throw it up, you know, just kind of pitching into these, this tall grass and the reeds and all this stuff. And here, 
thought I was stuck. So I'm trying to get it to pop over the grass and next you know I felt it pull back down really hard and there was a fish. I just my reaction to it wasn't good. Um, I was cussing a lot because I just didn't get a good hook set. Instead of just trying to set the hook, I thought I was stuck. So I'm kind of composing myself, saying a few cuss words, of course, you know, telling Mark, I can't believe I lost this, you know, fish. So I'm like, okay, let me just throw it back over there, see what happens. And by luck, I don't know if it was luck or she was just been sitting there, but she cut right back after my jig, slowly dragging it. There she is. This one here was a little over three pounds here. Pretty fish. Real pretty. Of course, I'm reaching for my neck because I'm like, oh man, I don't want to try to lose this fish. I'm trying to use this new net, but <clears throat> it's a decent, it's a good net. It was like 15 bucks or 12 bucks at Walmart. Yeah, this fish here is three pounder, just over three pounds. So, I think Mark ended up catching one more bass after that. But the black and blue jig with the black and blue trailer on it, I think it was a Rage trailer on it. It was just, it turned it up for me. It worked for me that day. And, uh, Alvarado, it's a pretty lake. It's big. It's not very big, but it's. It's good kayak lake, I think. There's a lot, a lot of stuff to fish, and there's a lot of area to cover to fish. I mean, especially for a kayak angler. But yeah, this fish in the brain, it was three something, and I was kind of giving Mark crap right there about oh, I'm in the lead now. I think I got like seven pounds of a fish because I'm about six seven pounds of fish now and he's just like oh man I need one big fish to take the lead so guys thanks for watching this video